Hi friends, this is Utkarsh and welcome to my channel Cooking with Utkarsh Mohan. Today also I have got another easy recipe which is the Sabudana Popons. Now for the people who do not know what's Sabudana, it's nothing but the Tapioca Saibu. Today I'm going to emphasize on a very very important topic which is garnish. Now whenever we garnish our plates or our serving bowls, the garnish has to be in harmony with the dish that you're serving. That means it should not be very very loud or it should not be very very dull. Now, many a times we always see that the garnish is never consumed and it's wasted. So always choose your garnish in such a way that it is consumed and it's not wasted. Because food wastage is completely unacceptable. So with this, we'll start today's recipe. So let's get started. So for making the sabudana popons, I have taken 150 grams of sabudana, which I have soaked it for five hours and that has become of this much quantity salt to taste one and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds jeera 10 to 15 leaves of curry leaves shredded two green chilies three tablespoon oil three tablespoon chopped carrots three tablespoon capsicum three tablespoons of roasted crushed peanuts and i've taken two potatoes which have been boiled and cut Well, uh, someone actually asked me how uh, do I uh, make the shreds of the curry leaves. Well, curry leaves is actually very very important. We should consume it. But many people actually don't like curry leaves. So what happens is when the leaves are big, normally you know it's very very easy to pull out and keep it aside. But uh, you know, let's say for small kids, you know uh, the mums they always always uh, want their children to have the curry leaves because it's very very good. You know, so what you could possibly do is you could actually keep all of them together and you can shred it like this you see here just shred it like this firstly it looks good and next thing it also imparts an amazing flavor to your food you see here these are your shreds There you go. And for making the dip, all you require are only just two things yogurt and one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Okay, I have added the oil, cumin seeds, curry leaves, carrots. Uh, the jeera as well as the capsicum saute it till about 3 4 done or even like fully done depending on the crunchiness that you would require I personally recommend fully done then add the potato and continue sorting till then we will start making our dip and for making the dip it's the most simplest thing just add the sugar to the curds and mix just keep mixing 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 and you can also chill it or you can serve it at the room temperature that's completely your choice add the sabudana now Add the peanuts and then salt to taste. Once the sabudana is cooked, you can switch it off. That's when actually the sabudana starts becoming translucent. That's when you know it's cooked. After the sabudana is cooked, take it into a bowl and cool it down till it becomes warm. Once it's starting to cool and you know you can actually uh, put your hands inside, you can start making the pop-on size balls and keep it ready for frying. Around this size. And then it's time to fry. 
please fry till golden brown. After frying, take out and drain the excess oil in a tissue paper. So there you go my friends, our sabudana popons ready. All you have to do is just place it with the toothpicks and serve it with a dip. That's it. So with this, we conclude our today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly share your comments, feedbacks and also post pictures. Have a nice time and happy cooking.